Shalom, beloved. It's a word. Some of us have been on the road to Amos. Yes, we have been amongst people who, as chosen, and some of them believers themselves, they don't recognize who you are, that you are beloved of Yahuwah. They do not recognize the spirit in you because their eyes are closed. They cannot see you. They see the outer you, but they cannot see the spirit that is within you. And just like Yeshua HaMashiach when he was on the road to Emus, and there were two walking the day that he had risen. And when he asked them what they were talking about, they were looking at him like, don't you know what's been going on? But they saw him as a stranger. They, they looked upon him and... To be exact, let me find it. It was one whose name was Cleopas who answered him, are you the only stranger mm, mm -mm, in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place in these days? There are some who when the chosen come among them, they look at you like a stranger. But you see, we are brothers and sisters in the spirit, beloved. But some people's eyes are not open to who you are. And they will treat you like a stranger. They will look at you like a stranger, never understanding the blessing of the spirit that is amongst them. And they will speak of the word, which is a beautiful thing. But that living, breathing, walking word is with them. And just like Yeshua HaMashiach started expounding to them that all the things that they were discussing had to take place. It was written in the book of Moses. He went through the prophets and the Psalms explaining to them all those things had been prophesied about him to take place. When they got to the town of Amos, Yeshua HaMashiach feigned as though he was going to go further and they pressed him to come in with them because evening was drawing nigh. The day was ending. And he went into the house with them and they sat down to eat. And he started expounding. He was still talking to them. And he took the bread, he blessed it, he prayed over it, he broke it and gave it to them. And once he gave them that bread, their eyes were open to who he was and he vanished out of their midst. There are people that will be among you who will assume you're a stranger that you don't know anything about the power of God or what's been going on. You don't know. And yet when that word comes out of you, that bread, he is the bread that came down from heaven. That word, when it comes out of you, suddenly something within them begins to burn with a hunger that can only be fed by that word. And as you give them the bread, their eyes are open that you are chosen, blessed. They are walking, talking with a child of the Most High, that the Spirit of the Lord is in you and it is speaking to them. It is amongst them. It has dwelt with them. There are people in your family who don't recognize your worth. 
there are people you work with, they see you as a stranger. They see you in the place they want you to be in. Because that's the only way they want to relate to you. You're a stranger. And then that word starts coming out. And then that bread of life, those rivers of living water start pouring out of you, beloved. And their eyes are open to who was amongst them the entire time. They deem you like anybody else, not understanding that that word is so powerful inside of you. That it transforms them and you until you are literally in the beginning. Was the word. The word was with God, the word is God. So when that word comes out of you, they are meeting Yah himself through the word. And you being connected to him in spirit become like unto a God. Did he not say in the Psalms, have I not called ye gods? As I am, so shall you be also. These things I do, so shall ye do also, and greater works than these, beloved. There are those who you meet on the road to Enos, and they look at you like a stranger, as though you don't know anything. You are below us. You have no knowledge of the events of the spirit and what's been going on. And then that spirit of Yah moves through you and their hearts begin to burn within them. Listen. Listening. Yes, yes, yes. I had Yah show me a lesson that was a form of the road to Enos. I met two brothers. They were young carpenters. One was 25, one was 21. The elder talked a lot, a lot. Of, and my basement, I needed the walls waterproofed and cemented. I needed the steps, the platform redone and a lot of the treads replaced. I needed it strengthened. Because I bought a house that was as is. But Yahuwah goes in and transforms things. So I made this agreement with them because they needed work. And I'm like, okay. But as they began to work, the younger one was doing the lion's share of the work. The older one was giving instructions. And once they were close to completion... He started leaving for lunch and telling his younger brother, come on, let's go. His attitude started shifting. He started getting haunty. Finally, I needed the kitchen faucet changed out. So I bought the faucet. The younger one told me, give him $100. I did. He got it done probably in 15, 20 minutes. Younger brother was good. And he had a beautiful attitude. I paid him as soon as he completed the work. But the older one started getting mad. Ah, we deserve more money. We did better work. And I'm like, everything you asked for, I agreed to do. Pay you. You know, the other thing was I told him, you know, I belong to Yahuwah. That's my father. I don't do intentional evil. I did not lie, nor did I cheat you. But he became angrier and angrier and finally walked out of the house. And he said, look, he, they were supposed to put ceramic tile on the basement floor. Maybe I'll be back money. I'll call you. I'm like, there's no need to call me. You don't want it done? It'll get done. Well, I'll call you. No, no need to call me. I told you I'm a child of the most high. I don't do evil. You're in my house. And getting mad. No, no. you. We deserve more. The younger brother who had done the lion's share. Every time I looked, the younger brother was the one doing the majority of the work. He's got a beautiful attitude. 
you know, as a matter of fact, we paid them 3500 to cement all the walls, put up rebar all around the walls in the basement. These young boys. But the older one, he's haunted. You don't know. I make good money. Okay, okay. Well, you take care. I'm starting to feel some kind of ways. Matter of fact, one of them times when he got angry, I started thinking about my guns and the spirit of the Lord caught me and said, no, Levada, I'm going to show you something. I'm talking the word of the Lord, but he's suddenly, he's shifting gears. Okay, goodbye. So I contact this other contractor named Abbas, who I had known for years. He comes, he gets his crew to do the uh, ceramic tiles on the floor. Good job. On the third day of working the floor, when some of the people that I had already become acquainted with in the crew not. The oldest brother was a Muslim. I'm like, what are you doing here? They doing that work for you. This is my friend. I don't have no jobs. I, I need money. I tell my friend I work, he pay me a little bit of money. I'm like thinking to myself, you were haunted before and had the nerve to try to kick up your heel towards me getting angry. But they go in the basement, spirits like wait without a wait. Right? So... When I go down in the basement and they're just about done, this same older brother who had been, had become so haunty and disrespectful acting, he's on his hands and knees scrubbing up the grout. And I'm standing on the stairs looking at him. I need work, I need work, I need money. Like, where's your brother? My brother, he got all these other jobs, but I don't have none, okay? Okay. By the time they got ready to go to lunch, the boss, Abbott's, was coming. So I went down to tell the workers, Abbott's asked that y'all stay till he gets here. I was going to pay Abbott's the next amount we agreed on. But come to find out, the elder brother used to work for Abbott's. You know Abbott's, how you, I've always known Abbott's years and years. I was just giving you and your brother a chance. I didn't know they knew Abbas. Then he tells me, Abbas fired him. I need to talk to him. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, Abbas owned over 200 houses. He got a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, Abbas is a kind man. He's a humble man. So yeah, I prospered him. And I looked at him and told him, I told you, I'm a child of the most. Evil. When you do good, you get good. When you do evil, Evil come back at you. After a while, Abbott came. I guess he couldn't get the response he wanted. He stormed off. I really didn't want him here, but Yeshua was showing me. Yahuwah was showing me. He exalted himself. And I humbled him. Not only did I humble him, the man that you got to do the work, Abbott's, this man owns hundreds of houses, but he's a kind man. He's a humble man. And look how much he prospered. Even if the guy hadn't have told me all that Abbas had, I always knew the man kept his word. If something went wrong with the job, he would come back. He would correct it. Here's this elder brother, 25 years old. You come into somebody's house when suddenly you feel like you underbid yourself. You get an attitude in somebody else's house, which is a dangerous thing to do. But the Spirit of the Lord was restraining me because I'm thinking, one, I'm about to kick you out. Two, if you get too much more angry, I'm about to go up here and get one of my guns to introduce you to the ex if you don't take it on your own. And I was trying to be a blessing. But you see, some people like on the road to endless, they think of you as a stranger. A stranger. Me and Habits were friends. We're good. And that same man that you about to beg for a job from, he already fired you. I could have called him the first time. If you think I'm putting in a good word for you, you done lost your mind. But your brother who was humble... He's somewhere working jobs, which I understand because I like the younger brother. 
that word, when we got outside and he's ready to leave, I, you know, I, I, I know, I don't understand what happened. I told you. I'm a child of God. I would not do evil. Everything we agreed on, I kept. Yeah, you did, you did. But you didn't. Changed up, you got upset. In somebody else's house. It's a dangerous thing to do. But you see those words. When he was on his hands and knees, he wasn't even getting paid by me. He getting a runoff from the other guy as a worker bee, but he acted all big and all that when his brother was dead. And the Lord blessed his brother. His abbess, the big boss who I knew for years, we're friends. And I'm like, you worked for him. That's why you're working on your own now. And he fired you probably because he saw that attitude in you. The road to Amos, beloved. When you bless and break that bread of truth and feed it to people and their eyes are open to the fact you are chosen and blessed by God and you were being a blessing just being among them. Because when I chose the two young men in the beginning, it was to give them a chance, to give them a blessing. To give them an opportunity. I respect our workers. I respect young men who are trying to do something positive with their lives. The road to Enos, beloved. And looking at the two, the elder wanted so much respect that my heart actually had natural respect for him and his brother until he started getting haughty and attitude. And here the man that you work for that got rid of you is a kind, humble man. I'm not surprised that he is as prosperous as he is. He's got a good spirit. The words burn, beloved. Some of you are considered strangers when they don't even know they're walking among a blessing. And Yahuwah will reveal it to them and to you. He will let you know. When he told me, don't say anything. Let him go out the door. Wait, God, wait. And the next time, here you are on your hands and knees, begging your friend for a handout. When the job had initially been yours. But you got haunted. And the man that I called, that I would have called for all the jobs, had actually been your boss who fired you. Mm. There's a road to Enos that a lot of us are on, beloved. And some of them people that you meet, they think you're a stranger. They think you must not know. <laughs> when they're the ones that don't know, their eyes are closed. So, you be encouraged because, like I said, those things that he have do, done, we shall do also. Those works he have done. You want to vote the Amos, beloved, in their eyes. But when you start speaking that word, when you bless it and break bread, Hand it out to them. Their eyes are open. And then you vanish from their midst. We saw the little brother when we were in Home Depot yesterday. But the elder wasn't with him. Because Yah blesses the humble and exalts them. And humbles the exalted. It is word blood. And even on that road to Amos, sooner or later, when you start speaking that word that burns within them of pure truth and life, their eyes will be open to the fact Yah's chosen has been among them. It is a word, beloved. Shalom.